and welcome back to my channel. I am so super excited about this makeup look because not only is it inspired by the amazing Selena Gomez, I've had so many requests to do a look inspired by her and when she wore this look at the AMAs I was just like, no, nope, needs to be done has to be done it's just the perfect holiday look so i really feel like lots of you guys would benefit from this on this time of year i've paired it with the kind of lip that she was wearing but you could totally pair this with a berry lip as well it's a really nice cranberry eye with a smoky smudged eyeliner look it uses the cranberry colors it's actually really soft and you can't see where anything starts or begins it's just really soft and it enhances the eyes beautifully i am just in love with it and i hope that you guys like it too if you do want to see how I achieved this look that Selena Gomez wore at the AMA Awards, then just keep on watching. To begin, I already went ahead and applied some Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC all over my lids, and now I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Single Eyeshadow in Creme Brulee. This is going to be our first transition shade, and I'm applying this into my crease with a fluffy brush just to really blend this out and to really make all of the other colours blend as easily as possible. I am going to be building up this colour because I do want the warmth of this colour to show through the next colors we are going to be applying. Then taking Coca Bear eyeshadow also from Makeup Geek, I'm going to be applying this with a 217 brush from MAC into the deeper part of my crease. So I am going to be applying that just below that creme brulee shade. I am going to be applying it in an upwards motion, dragging it towards the tail of my brow. This will really lift up the eyes and when I look at Selena's makeup, her eyes were really lifted upwards and I can really tell the eyeshadow really went towards the tail of her brow, so we want to kind of copy that. I am also going back into that previous brush to make sure that it looks nice and airbrushed. Next, taking Makeup Geek Bitten Eyeshadow. This is a really nice matte cranberry. I'm taking that on the same 217 brush and applying this into the crease to really change the color to deepen it and just to add that pop of cranberry onto the crease. I am just blending this in with side to side motions, very gradually packing on this color. And then once again going back into that previous brush to ensure that everything is really well blended. You can't see any harsh lines and it looks nice and seamless. Next taking Cranberry from MAC. This is a shimmery cranberry shade. I'm going to be packing this onto the lid with a flat small shader brush. I am going to be gradually packing on this colour and we want this to be super vibrant. We really want to be able to see this as this is the main colour on the lid. We're not going to be applying any other colour apart from the liner. So we really want this to stand out. If you feel like you need to, you can apply a white base underneath it to make it appear brighter. Next I'm taking Makeup Geek Bitten Eyeshadow and I'm going to start to apply this onto the lid to create a smudgy flick. So what I'm doing is just taking this on a smudger brush and just gradually applying this to create a wing. I'm almost applying it in the same way that I'd apply an eyeliner but instead I'm just applying it with eyeshadow. It has a nice softness to it. I'm applying this colour as much as I need to so that it looks nice and black. I am then taking a black pencil liner and applying it as close to the lash line as possible and then we're going to go back in with that shader brush and then just smudge it out. That way it gives a little bit more definition towards the lash line and it just adds more depth and drama. Next, we're just going to be applying our lashes. I decided to apply the Noir Fairy Lashes from House of Lashes. I really like the way these look, but it's totally optional. You can use whatever lashes you like. I also went ahead and applied some mascara afterwards as well to make my natural lashes blend in a little bit better to the false ones. Next, we're going to be moving on to our skin. I am taking the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer and just applying it all over my skin and just blending this in with my fingers to make sure that my skin looks nice and smooth before we apply our foundation. 
For my foundation, I am taking the EX1 Invisiwear. This is one of my favorite foundations in the world. I absolutely love it and it just makes my skin look so smooth. I really like the effect that this gives and I just really, really love it. So I'm just applying this with my Real Techniques sponge and I am going to be applying two layers of this. For my concealer, I am taking the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and just applying it underneath my eyes, on my forehead, the bridge of my nose and also onto my chin. I am going to be blending that in with the same sponge and I am also going to be using my finger as well to get into all of these smaller areas that the sponge can't reach. To set my concealer, I am taking the Soap & Glory Instant Retouch Powder. No surprise there, I'm always using this powder. I'm just using that on a Sigma F35 and just using that to set any areas we applied the concealer. As for the cheeks, Selena didn't look like she had much going on, so I decided to take a big powder brush and just bronze the outer perimeter of my face. And the reason why I'm taking a big brush is because that way it will define the face and it will make me look bronzed without actually looking too much. And then I am going to be taking this black coal pencil and applying it to my waterline to give me a nice amount of drama. And then I am going to be taking more of that cranberry shade we applied onto the lid and just take it on that same shader brush and run it on the bottom lash line and then blend it out using the 217 brush. I'm applying some of that black eyeshadow as close to the lash line as possible to give a little bit of a smokiness and then applying our mascara to finish everything off. For my brows, I really noticed that Selena's brows looked really different to anything that I think I've seen her wear before. Her brows looked really messy but sculpted at the same time, so I took my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel and I kind of flicked all of my brows upwards. It kind of makes them look wild and messy and I just really liked it. To ensure my brows don't look sparse, I just took a bit of my brow is and just went through to fill in any sparse areas. To highlight my face, I'm taking the Anastasia So Hollywood Illuminator and just applying it onto the tip of my nose and also onto my cheekbones. And then finally for the lips, I lined my lips with Well Lip Liner from MAC and I'm just running that all along the lip line and then I am going to be filling in my lips with this as well. And then just to lighten it and make it more comfortable to wear, I am going to be taking the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cairo and I'm just going to be patting that in with my finger. So guys, that is the end of this celebrity inspired makeup look. I hope that you enjoyed. A Selena Gomez inspired look was requested for so long, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you do want to see more celebrity looks, then don't forget to comment down below what celebrities you'd like to see. Don't forget to subscribe as well because I do put up three videos a week. Don't forget to subscribe to my vlog channel too because I am doing Vlogmas at the moment. I can't wait to see you on both channels and also on my social media too. I'll leave all the links down below to my social media and also to the products that I used today too. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video and I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.